Hello. Welcome back to Mindfulness Mondays. This is session six, Managing Difficult Emotions. We're going to get stuck right in with our first meditation, a centering meditation. Now, as we learned last week, this is a technique for discovering a compassionate word or phrase that can be applied particularly to you in your current situation. Beginning practitioners of loving kindness meditation can use this to help discover their own personalized loving kindness phrases. So to start, sit comfortably, close or partially close your eyes. And together we'll take three deep, relaxing breaths in and out. In and out. In and out. And you notice your body posture sitting, not lying down not standing and feel the sensations within your body if you have any physical discomfort try gently touching it with your awareness and if you happen to have any emotional distress notice it and let it be there Place one or two hands on your chest as a gentle reminder to give yourself loving attention. Feel the warmth of your hands, their gentle pressure, the rhythmic rising and falling of your chest as you breathe. Keep paying attention to your breathing. And on the next in-breath, let your awareness move more deeply into the experience of breathing. And as we just continue to breathe, open your awareness to the space between your out breath and the in breath. See if you can feel that space. And let your awareness drop into it. savoring what may or may not be present. The breath comes seemingly out of nowhere, doesn't it? That's because it's actually breathing you, keeping you healthy, even when you're fast asleep. Now try to go deeper into the empty space from which your breathing emerges, from which the faintest movements originate. 
this is a field of great peace and freedom. And just as the in-breath originates out of seemingly nowhere, so do your thoughts emerging out of a deep, quiet, invisible space. When you're ready, try to listen out for any words that may be bubbling up. Open yourself to a word or phrases that might be just what you need to hear right now. And if a word or phrase were to appear from the bottom of your heart, what would that be? We'll take the next few minutes to do this. I'd like you to continue to breathe, giving in to the space that's found between the two breaths. Relax and open yourself to the words that might bubble up from deep inside. And if no words arise, just stay with your breath. If a few words arise, roll them over in your mind like pebbles in your hand and select the one that's perfect for you at this time in your life. Some possibilities might be love, let it be, trust, or peace. When you have a word or phrase, take a moment to allow yourself to savor it, rolling it over and over again in your mind. And if you notice your mind wandering, bring it 
ever so gently back to the word or words. And after a while, let go of that word and what you're doing. And for the last few moments of this meditation, simply be with your inner experience, letting yourself just be as you are. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. Great. So our next exercise is called Soften, Soothe, and Allow. And this exercise is designed as a tool to be used when you find yourself in the middle of a difficult situation. We aim for you to be able to soothe yourself in the way a mother might soothe her child when they are in pain. This is done through tapping into our affiliative system that we're all born with, giving ourselves what we need to acknowledge and address our pain, and then continue to function as healthy adults. So please find a comfortable sitting position. Close or partially close your eyes and take three Relaxing breaths. Bringing your hand to your heart for a few moments. To remind yourself that you're in the room and to bring kindness to yourself throughout this exercise. First, we'll practice labeling emotions. So I'd like you to let yourself recall a mild to moderately difficult situation that you're in right now. Perhaps a health problem, stress in a relationship, a loved one in pain, or even the COVID-19 pandemic. No. Don't choose a very difficult problem or a trivial one. Choose a problem that can generate a little bit of stress in the body when you think of it. Now, I'd like you to clearly visualize the situation. So who was there? What was said? And what happened?
Now see if you can name the strongest emotion. So difficult emotion associated with the situation, anger, sadness, grief, confusion, fear, happiness, acceptance, peaceful. Perhaps you may find that it's the more positive emotions that are the more difficult ones to be with. Repeat the name of the emotion to yourself in a gentle and understanding voice as if you're validating a friend for what he or she may be feeling. So, that's confusion or that's joy. Spend the next minute or so repeating and sitting with the emotion. And now, I'd like you to expand your awareness to the body as a whole. Recall the difficult situation and scan your body for where you feel it the most. Using your mind's eye, sweep the body from head to toes, stopping where you can sense a little tension or discomfort. ensuring that if this is felt, you still continue your journey downwards, making note of its presence in the body. Now, choose a single location in the body where the feeling expresses itself the most strongly, perhaps as a point of muscle tension or an achy feeling in the chest or back. And in your mind, gently incline a softness a curiosity towards that spot. Now that we're inclined to a spot where you feel 
the, the strongest. I'd like you to soften into that location in your body. This means letting the muscles be soft without a requirement that they become soft. Quite like applying heat to sore muscles, how tension melts away. To enhance the process, you may say to yourself, soft, soft soft and remember you're not trying to make the sensation go away you're just being with it with loving awareness If you wish, try to let yourself soften around the edges. There's no need to go all the way in. For many, the process of softening is difficult. We'll now soothe ourselves for struggling in this way. Struggling to allow ourselves to soften. Put your hand over your heart and feel your body breathe. Perhaps kind words arise in our minds, such as, oh dear, this is a really painful experience. May I grow in ease and well-being? Or perhaps your own words of loving kindness may come to mind in this moment. If you wish, you can also direct kindness to the part of your body that is under stress by placing your hand on that place. And say to yourself kind words or just repeat soothe 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 it's important that we allow the discomfort to be there abandon the wish for feelings to disappear try to let the discomfort come and go as it pleases like a guest in your own home. To help with this, you can try repeating, allow, allow, allow. We'll spend the next minute or so allowing the discomfort to be here with us.
soften, soothe, and allow. Soften, soothe, and allow. You can use these three words like a mantra, reminding yourself to incline with tenderness towards your suffering. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. And if you notice yourself experiencing intolerable discomfort with an emotion, simply stay with your breath until you feel better. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. We'll now complete an exercise which focuses on working with shame. Shame is a very difficult emotion that can make it hard to access self-compassion. By exploring what makes us feel shameful or perhaps blame ourselves for things we can't control, it can help us to redefine our relationship with a harsh inner critic and to be able to better tolerate shame as and when it arises in the future meeting it where it is, instead of being overcome by it. So to begin, I'd like you to think of a behavior that you feel badly about. So this might be something you would like to change or something that you tend to beat yourself up about. We'll take the next 15 seconds to bring that to mind. I'd now like you to either write down or think about what you regularly say to yourself about this behavior. Reflecting on our mental matter and chat about this behavior. What feelings arise for you? Now, over the next few minutes, explore why it is you might criticize yourself. Why it is you might make yourself feel shame. What is your inner critic trying to accomplish by doing this? What might it be trying to do for you?
Does your critic have a function? And if so, what is it? If you feel like it, write down what the role of your self-critic has been. Or simply sit with these thoughts. Now, I'd like you to let the critic know that it has served you well and that it may have had good intentions. It may have been trying its best to help you or perhaps it was trying its best to stop you. But now it is time for you to let him or her go. Close your eyes for a moment, imagining the behavior, the inner critic. Notice what's going on in your body. I invite you to soften the body and offer yourself words of kind reassurance for the presence of the critic and behavior within it. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. Our next meditation is looking at loving kindness towards a difficult person. So to prepare for this meditation, I'd like you to find a comfortable sitting position, straight back, supported by the muscles in your abdomen. See if you can draw any height through your obliques and your lats. Now, take five deep, satisfying breaths to center yourself in the present moment. And on the final breath, perhaps take a moment to be thankful for the luxury of the breath that we have. Now, let us spend the next few minutes bringing to mind our phrases of loving kindness for yourself. Or if you find this to be difficult, phrases or words of loving kindness towards an important person in your life. If you find yourself struggling to find these words or phrases, you could try to use one or two of the following. May I be safe. May I forgive myself. May I be happy and free from suffering. May I safely endure this discomfort. May I find peace in my heart. May I be strong. May I protect myself. May I learn to live with ease and well-being. May I accept the circumstances of my life spend the next minute immersing ourselves, letting ourselves be washed over by these words or phrases of loving kindness.
Now placing a hand or two on your heart. Remember to bring loving attention to yourself. Now, bring an image of a difficult person to mind. So maybe somebody who makes you angry, who causes you pain or annoyance, or somebody that you might find it challenging to be with. Remind yourself that this difficult person is also struggling to find his or her way through life. And in doing so, is causing you pain. Repeat after me the following. Just as I wish to be peaceful and free from suffering, may you too find inner peace. I'd like you to spend the next minute perfecting the image of the difficult person in your mind. Reminding that they too are suffering. I'd like you to repeat the following phrases softly, keeping the image of the difficult person in your mind whilst sensing the value of your words. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. If you find the phrases to be too long, try repeating keywords whilst picturing the difficult person in your mind. So safe, peaceful, healthy. You may notice feelings of aversion, disgust, anger, guilt, shame, or sadness arising. You may also feel that your phrases sound hollow alongside these emotions. If this is the case, try to give a label to the emotion that you're feeling, such as sadness or anger. And practice compassion for yourself perhaps saying, may I be safe.
when you're feeling better. I invite you to try again with that difficult person. However, 99% of loving kindness meditation for the difficult person may actually begin with a compassionate meditation for yourself. And if this is the case, redivert your attention from the difficult person to you. Repeating to yourself compassionate phrases like, may I be kind to myself. May I accept myself just as I am. If you in fact did not find yourself struggling, continue to think of the difficult person and to be present with your phrases or words of loving kindness. I'd like you to take the next minute to go back and forth between yourself and the difficult person if possible. Extending your words or phrases of loving kindness, making sure that energy of good will pervades this meditation session. And before you come to the end, I'd like you to release this difficult person and say, may I and all beings be safe. May I and all beings be peaceful. May I and all beings be healthy. May I and all beings live with ease. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. We're now going to repeat the soften, soothe, and allow exercise. And this is something that I would like you to try to do, try to integrate into your daily routine over the next week. Taking a moment to acknowledge, label and feel any difficult emotions and to soften, soothe, and allow their presence. So to begin, let us soften back into that location in the body where you initially felt the discomfort, felt that unpleasant emotion. Or perhaps new emotions have arisen as a result of this session and you may choose to switch your focus to them. We'll allow the next 30 seconds or so to locate the emotion in the body. Now that we've found and have softened into the location, again, let the muscles be soft without a requirement so that they simply become soft out of their own volition. Repeating to yourself the words, soft, soft, soft. Being mindful 
that we are not trying to make the sensation go away. Instead, we are simply being with it with loving kindness. And we may have found it difficult to allow ourselves to soften to the body, allowing our minds to soften to the emotion. It's important that we remember to allow our, ourselves to be soothed for feeling that way, to allow ourselves to be present and here with the difficult emotions as and where they arise in the body. Perhaps repeat to yourself the words soothe, soothe, soothe. We must now allow the discomfort to be there, abandoning the wish for the feeling to disappear, letting the discomfort come and go, perhaps repeating, allow, allow, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. You can use these three words as a mantra, reminding yourself to be inclined with tenderness towards your suffering. I invite you to stay with the breath for the next 30 seconds, repeating to yourself softly. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. Becoming immersed within the meaning behind these words. Soften, soothe, allow. Soften, soothe, allow. And on your next in breath when you're ready 
I invite you to open your eyes. Great. We'll now move on to homework as the session draws to an end. I'd like you to practice a daily loving kindness meditation towards yourself, a benefactor, a neutral person, or like in today's exercise, a challenging person. I'd also like you to try to incorporate a daily practice of soften, soothe, and allow. Great. Thank you very much, and I will see you next week for our penultimate session.